Welcome to Man That's Cooking. In this video, we're going to show you how to make grilled onion dip. Now, this is an amazing, delicious dip that you can make in the oven if you like. If you don't have a grill, you can put it in a smoker if you have a smoker. Or you could just follow what we do here and use the grill. All right, let's get started. First step is to cut off the ends of two Vidalia onions and then cut off the skins. And then you want to use a mandolin with a thin blade and slice up the onions. And you want to take the ends that don't make their way into the uh, mandolin and just dice them up. And this way the onions have two different textures going on. Next we have a half pound of bacon and we're going to slice it up and make bacon bits out of it. So as a good measure just go ahead and break up the uh, bacon chunks here so that you don't have them all stuck together. Put them in a frying pan and then put them on a burner on medium temperature. Alright it's time to get cheesy. So this is a, about an 8 ounce block of Gruyere cheese. Just cut off the rinds and then use a uh, hand shredder just like this and shred some cheese. So this is how you burn calories before you put on calories. And now the next cheese that we're going to use is Gouda and this is about 8 ounces as well. And cut off the, uh, the rinds on the end. And now this cheese is soft so it's going to be a little bit uh, difficult to shred but you'll find your way. Now these are just cheese guidelines. Feel free to use whatever cheese you like. But hopefully you'll try what we recommend and uh, make that your first cheese experience. So around 10 to 15 minutes your bacon should start foaming and that means it's done. And so at this point you want to use a slotted spoon to remove the bacon and put it on a uh, folded up section of paper towels. After all the bacon is removed, we're going to add the onions. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's nothing like onions getting cooked in bacon fat. The aroma is amazing. If you're not hungry yet, this is going to make you hungry. Food Porn Flyover! flyover. Alright, it's time to put this dip together. So you want to use 8 ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. And uh, don't buy that Miami cream cheese. That's got some weird stuff in it. Make sure it's Philadelphia. And now we're going to add 1 cup of sour cream. 1 tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. One teaspoon of garlic salt. A quarter teaspoon of black pepper. You can use coarse or regular, doesn't matter, whatever you like. A quarter teaspoon of dried thyme. And an optional quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. When you got everything in the bowl, turn on your mixer and start mixing. Now if you don't have a uh, pro KitchenAid, you might have to spin the bowl yourself to help your mixer out. Just, uh, just use your DJ skills and start spinning. Now as things are uh, spinning, go ahead and add the uh, shredded cheese slowly into the mixer. And just go ahead and add all the cheese, just a small portion at a time. Next, you want to add all the bacon bits. Oh, yeah. Bacon bits make me shake, too. I get it, Mr. Eject. I feel you. And the final step, we're going to add the cooked onions. And these have been cooked for about 10 minutes. And we're just going to dump it all into the bowl. So give that a spin for about three minutes, and you're done. All right, it's cook time. 
So if you're wondering, yes, you can make this dip ahead of time. You could put it in the refrigerator for a day or two if you like. And then when it's time to cook, just go ahead and put it into a cast iron skillet. So man here is pushing the envelope as far as how much his skillet can hold. But you at home, you probably want to use at least a 13 inch cast iron skillet. All right, so we've got this grill preheated. We've got all the burners on low. That should get you around 350 degrees. And so this dip is going to cook from 20 to 30 minutes. Going to judge it by the color on the outside surface. And again, you can go ahead and put the dip in an oven if you don't want to put it on the grill. And while the dip is cooking, man here is slicing up a baguette and it's about a half inch slice. And next we're going to melt one stick of salted butter and add some herbs for flavoring. Onion dip is starting to take on some color, starting to get brown. And when the butter melts, brush it on the bread, followed by seasoning it down with Les Herbes de Provence. When that's done, flip each bread over and repeat the same steps. And once this is done, we're going to add this to the grill so that we get at least 10 minutes of cook time. And you want to judge this by uh, just eyeballing the color of the bread. But 10 minutes should be your minimum. Alright, so after 20 minutes, this is what you should have. Look at that cheese. Oh man. Alright, go ahead and remove the bread. Put it on a fancy little glass tray. And you want to remove the cheese dip when you're all done. And remember, this is molten lava hot. Definitely let it rest for like five to ten minutes. So grab a slice of bread, load it up with cheese, dip it, spoon it, whatever you like. Oh, it's good. Man, look at that. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you like this recipe and hope you try it out at home. Click like, click subscribe. Check us out at manthatscooking.com. Enjoy.